Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about seven easy ways that you can minimize your makeup collection today. If you guys enjoyed this video, please throw a thumbs up down below and let's get straight on into it. A little disclaimer I wanna add before getting into the list is that I'm not bashing the makeup community. I am not saying that makeup is bad. I'm just basically saying that I think each and every one of us could use a little bit of minimization when it comes to our makeup products, especially with nowadays, with us being such big consumers on makeup, with the makeup industry being as big as it is, um, we feel the need that we need every little product that's out there on YouTube, on Sephora, whatever it is. So I'm not bashing it, but I do feel like we kind of need to lead off of it a little bit. And we just have the basics. So with that being said, let's get into it. The number one thing that you're gonna to wanna to do when it comes to minimizing your makeup collection, this is your jump start, your kickoff, and that is to get rid of expired makeup. If you have a huge makeup collection like I used to, majority of the makeup that I had was all expired, and the number one thing that I realized was I didn't use any of it. I wasted so much money on all these items and I didn't use any of it. I'm gonna link it down below. It's going to be like what expires when or how many months you have with that product. Um, print it out, put it on your phone, whatever it is, and go through each item. If you don't remember when you purchase that item, every makeup item has an expiration date on it. By the time you open it, it has like a little, little label on the makeup bottle where it looks like a powder box open like this and it'll have the number 12 or six on it. Those numbers indicate months. So keep that in mind. I'll have it linked down below. This is going to help you out if you feel that you do not want to get rid of your makeup, you love it all. You do not want to put expired makeup on your face. There are tons of bacteria in makeup, um, especially if you keep using it daily. Uh, you do not want to put that on your face. And even if it's not open, it doesn't mean that it's not expired. If you have something like, I want to say like a lipstick and you bought it in like 2010 and it's 2019 and it's still sealed, it's not good, you guys. It's not good. It's got to go. Trust me. So when it comes to expired makeup, get rid of it. Number two is to stick with colors you are comfortable with. What I mean by this is to stick to colors that you know you're gonna wake up in the morning and when you do your makeup, you're gonna go for that tan or black or a neutral tone color for your day-to-day -day makeup look. You're not probably gonna go for reds. You're not probably gonna go for yellows for work. <laughs> I don't think anybody wears those colors to work. And I was guilty of this back in the day when I was like 19, I had BH cosmetic palettes, you know, the ones that come with so many eyeshadows in one and I would never touch the yellow or the orange or the green or the blue. I would never touch any of those colors. They would all go to the garbage. I would only stick with neutrals. Like I do now, I only stick with neutrals and just try your best to stick with something that you know you're gonna use either on a daily base or a weekly base, not once a year. Say if you have a, a holiday palette that comes with reds and greens and all those colors, you're most likely not gonna use those on the holidays. You're probably gonna stick to something easy because we're usually running around the holiday season and us humans usually tend to take the easy route. Um, so when it comes to makeup, we rather just go the easy route. So your mind is already used to going for neutrals. It's gonna go for that. Even on Christmas time, probably go for neutrals. So you could probably get rid of that holiday palette as well. Number three is to stick to having only one item for each basic item. What I mean by that is having one of your favorite foundation, if you wear foundation, have only one bottle of it. You do not need a tons of different shades. If you are tanning and you are traveling, I get it. Then having two is fine. But there are some people that will have like 20 different shades of foundation and it's like, are you gonna use those? Probably not. Uh, the same thing goes for lipstick. We all collect lipstick. Um, I feel like it's a huge phase. I've collected so much lipsticks. When I was a makeup holder, I think I had about like, I think it was like a box like this big of just lipsticks. It was so embarrassing and I never wore lipstick. I always stuck with gloss because I sucked at putting lipstick on. Till this day, I am horrible at putting lipstick on. It always ends up here. It looks like I'm going to the freaking circus, 
But anyways, besides me being horrible at makeup, uh, sticking to one thing for one each basic item is going to save you space and it's going to save you a ton of money. So one concealer, one powder, one blush, whatever it is, that's going to save you a ton of money if you use those items daily. And it's going to save you a ton of space as well. Number four is to work with what you got. What I mean by this is that if you have an eyeshadow palette, most likely that eyeshadow palette can be used three to four different ways. Sometimes some eyeshadows can be used as blush. Some eyeshadows can be used as contour, um, highlight. I use my eyeshadow palette for highlight on my nose over here. Um, and then I use it for my eyes, obviously. But um, same thing goes for concealer. I use concealer under my eyes and as a eyeshadow primer. And it's funny because when I was at work a couple months ago, I noticed an elderly woman using her lipstick and putting her fingers on the lipstick and going like this, using it for blush. And I was just like, I thought I was the only one to think of to use makeup like four different ways, but I guess they've been doing it forever. <laughs> Same thing goes for bronzer. If you guys like bronzer, you use bronzer. You can use that as for like contouring. You can also use that for your lips. I used to use bronzer. I tap it and I used to go like this with some lip gloss and you have like a nice nude lip. Bronzer can also be used as eyeshadow, vice versa. You just look into it. There's a whole list on Pinterest as well of what makeup items you can use more than five different ways. This is also going to save you money and time because you don't have to like scram around looking for that certain item. You have that one item in your hand that can be used four different ways on your face. And not to mention it's going to save you space. Number five is going to be to stick to the basics. Now, what I mean by basics is lipstick, or lip gloss, those are the basics. Everyone uses those, only one each. Foundation or concealer, one each or just one. A basic eyeshadow palette, mascara, and an eyebrow pencil. I feel like those are just the basic items that everyone tends to go for and uses, but then they do want to use the primers, the false lashes, and the, um, what's it called? I don't know what that's called. Like, oh, it's like a, a lip liner. That's a, yeah, a lip liner. You see how bad I am at this, you guys? <laughs> um, a lip liner. So whatever it is, stick with the basics. That's gonna help you minimize your collection. That's going to help you feel a little bit more confident when you put your makeup on. It's like the less you have in front of you, the more you have to work with. I don't know. Maybe I'm the only one that thinks that way, but I'm telling you, you guys, I have less makeup now. I only have six items. I feel like I can look my best with just those six items than when I had 150 items when I lived with my mom. It's crazy to think how less is more. Number six is to also embrace your natural beauty. This is also gonna help you minimize your makeup collection and you're probably wondering how. Well, if you embrace your natural beauty, for instance, you guys are always saying, Kira, you have perfect clear skin, that's why you only use concealer. Let me go up to the camera really quick. I do not have perfect clear skin. I am breaking out right now, as you guys can see. Um, I had a couple breakouts over here. I had a breakout over here last week and a lot of bit of red irritation. I do have psoriasis. Sometimes it goes on my face, sometimes it doesn't. But what I'm saying is that I don't care what people think. I don't. Um, I rather not cover it up. I don't cover it up with foundation or concealer. I only use concealer, but I do not cover that up. The reason for that is because I want the acne to heal on its own. I want it to go through its own thing. I do use a face wash. It's from Pacifica. I'll have it linked down below. That's the only thing I use when it comes to my face. I just let my acne go away on its own. No pimple popping, no nothing. No covering up with makeup. I let it do its thing and then that's it. Then it disappears actually faster if you do not acknowledge it. And that is the same thing when it comes to embracing your natural beauty. I don't care what people think. I used to be the person to never want to leave the house without a full face of makeup on. Now, with me being the way I am, uh, there's sometimes like I record without makeup. I go out to dinner with my boyfriend. I we When we went to DR, I didn't wear any makeup for any of those occasions that we were out. Like I had my makeup bag with me and I never used it because it was too hot and I just wanted to have fun. And when you have makeup on, I feel like it kind of 
ruins the fun out of vacation. I don't know, I don't, it's like you don't wanna go swimming, you don't wanna do certain activities. I feel like once when you learn how to embrace your natural beauty, you're golden. You will be able to minimize your makeup collection 10 times more than actually following an entire list. Because then you will not feel the need to rely on makeup to cover up blemishes or to cover up certain things that you, f you used to feel insecure about. So definitely try your best to not care what other people think. I know it's hard, but at the end of the day, you're living your life. You're the only one that takes care of yourself. So at the end of the day, you should only care what you think. And I know it's hard, especially when nowadays people talking so much, but I know it is hard. Trust me, I've been there. It's not something you pick up in a day. I mean, if you do pick that up in a day, kudos to you. It took me years and years to embrace my natural beauty. And the last thing on this list, number seven, is to do your research before purchasing a makeup item. This is big because this is going to help you save some money and also some time. If you look up that certain product that you've been wanting to buy and it has terrible, terrible reviews saying that it makes your skin dry or makes your lips chapped, don't purchase it. Obviously it's a bad product and the company needs to work on it some more. There's reviews everywhere. I know even not just with makeup, whatever I purchase, um, including food, certain like items, like if I wanna search on how it tastes or if certain other people didn't like the taste, they said it would taste bad or whatever, I'll look up on YouTube, like taste tests or whatever. Um, I'm very keen on not wanting to waste my money on stupid things, on things that have bad reviews. I've been through all of that, especially with makeup, with buying things that had bad reviews and I bought them anyways because they were on sale. Such a stupid, stupid habit I had and I would use it and I would hate it because what the review said, that, they, that it made your skin dry or whatever, that's what it made my skin do. And I was like, why didn't I listen to the reviews? I could have saved a ton of money with just that one step. Anyways, you guys, I really hoped you got something out of this. When it comes to minimizing your makeup, you do not have to do it all in a day. It took me forever, I mean forever, to minimize my entire makeup collection. Again, my when I lived with my mom, my whole bedroom was makeup. It, I was surrounded by makeup and I didn't even know how to do makeup. I just liked it because it was a thing. Just like it is a thing till this day, um, a lot of people are great at it and most of us are just consumers and we just purchase everything that what we see. Take before and after pictures because that is what's gonna give you the boost to do another task. It's gonna be like, all right, I completed this one. Look what I did. Let me see what else I can do. Anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.